So first thing first, we need to go to andropolice.com and then we're gonna look for an article called You Can Now Rebrand Your T-Mobile OnePlus 6T Without Unlocking the Bootloader by Jordan Palmer. Let's head down and on in that article, they're gonna provide you with a step-by-step -step guide on how to convert your T-Mobile OnePlus 6T to a regular OnePlus 6T from OnePlus themselves. So it's not carrier branded. So make sure you follow the directions. Uh, we wanna go ahead and download the toolkit and you need to download the patch flasher tools. And what I did was just created a new folder on my desktop and I exported both of those raw files into the same fo folder there. Now what you wanna do is run this file right here, the one that says factory patch. You're gonna go ahead and click on that and it's gonna your phone is gonna say connected once that little toolkit pops up. That program, I'll say, uh, or say status of communication, I'll say connected there. And then simply just hit start and it'll start doing this thing. It'll take about five minutes, it's relatively fast and easy. And uh, But before you do that, you could just gotta make sure you go over to the XDA forum there and uh, download the driver for the modem drivers for your OnePlus 6T. Uh, they have both files there. They're gonna have the download tool and then they're gonna have the drivers as well. And then you can get the patch files from there, from here, from Android Police. Uh, make sure you, uh, there's the drivers right there. Uh, make sure you actually help out and donate if you can you know uh big ups to uh dark nightmare and i believe it's itai itais uh for their efforts and converting the branded carrier t-mobile oneplus 6t to a official oneplus 6t device uh the links are there if you want to donate uh you don't have to but they're there all right we're back i just finished converting my T-Mobile OnePlus 6T to a regular OnePlus 6T version you can pick up from uh, OnePlus themselves at the website if you didn't buy it at the carrier. Uh, so we're just going to boot it up. I already booted it up, but I want to show you that it does eliminate the T-Mobile boot up screen. Uh, let's go ahead and power this on so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And there you have it, no T-Mobile boot up screen, but you have the Oxygen OS boot up screen there. I've been playing with it for about a couple of uh, minutes or so, and let's... It just seems a little, f it seems fast, so it's pretty good, uh, uh, pretty snappy, as you can see. One thing that I did notice, that so when you swipe right, you no longer have the T-Mobile Google homepage, you have the... Uh, one plus six and i think that was just an exclusive to the t-mobile version it's not a big deal at all and also you can see that i don't see i don't know if you can let's get this focused you can see that it has is displaying a dual sim there uh i don't have a dual sim card or a sim card in, currently inserted but if you can get a hold of a dual sim card tray you can probably utilize the dual sim so as you can see this is the t-mobile one because it has only one slot for a, a sim card there so bam let's put that back uh besides that it's working flawless it's very nice and snappy also uh, one of the benefits you do for converting into a regular oneplus 6t is that if you go to OS as you can see I am on the December security patch uh, the oneplus 6t version what's currently on the November security patch so you are gonna get updates as fast as 
uh, uh, OnePlus uh, releases the the OS update, so you're just gonna get them with everybody else, which is awesome. Uh, the OnePlus 6T from T-Mobile was a little behind in updates because it has to go through the T-Mobile verification process, and then it gets pushed out to their versions of the OnePlus 6T. Uh, with that being said, uh, everything looks good. I'm super, super happy. Uh, one thing too, uh, I didn't have to root the phone. I didn't have to unlock the bootloader. That little program did everything. Uh, you do have a lock bootloader and everything still, but it does wipe your phone. So uh, make sure you back up anything you want to save uh, because it will wipe your phone clean. With that being said, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.